Alright, so we're, we're coming into the site here. Uh, we've chosen this site because it's in the heart of some of the best bison habitat that the park has to offer. We're sitting here at ground zero for the bison project. This is where the hooves are first going to hit the ground for the bison that we aim to translocate from Elk Island National Park into the heart of the Panther River Valley in Banff National Park. We're now in week two of what we expect to be a month-long building of a soft-release pasture system. Everything is challenging here. It's not just coming in and check out the beautiful nature. It's, it's a physically demanding job. I feel in better shape than when I started. <laughs> it's been logistically complex because of the remoteness. This is about 40 kilometers from any road. This pasture system that we're building consists of two pastures. The primary pasture where the animals will be first arriving. We're employing an eight foot high mesh fence and it's where the animals will winter and it's also where they'll calve. We're actually gonna hold them and support them and then gradually get them used to going out onto the natural landscape. The other pasture that we're building, and that's about twice as big as this one, so it's about 12 hectares instead of six. And that is actually meant to be the place where they'll, they'll summer and spend the fall. And then finally, after 16 months, we'll actually open the gates and they'll become free roaming. There's lots to work through still at the field level. You really would like to start to see some tangible results. And then once you're out in the field, you really do start to see the vision come together in this really incredible place. Yeah, you can't help but be happy when you're out here. I know I'm not getting paid for this project, but to me, the payment is just being allowed to be here and being a part of it. It's wonderful. I wanted to be a, a part of this as it might be a, in the big picture when all this is down the road, 40, 50 years, I have three boys at home that could look back and say, hey, that was my dad.